We went to Mexico to look at the sacred cenotes in the Yucatan that used to be spiritual places for the Mayans. Today we come and we seek peace and relaxation, meditation. This is a Russian Orthodox community on Epiphany Day. Now you're probably gonna say this is Russia, Ukraine, right? No, it's Maine. <laughs> we went to India for the Ganga Dusara ceremony. 1.3 million people making offerings in the sacred Ganges. It's a staggering event, again, where they light candles, say prayers, beautiful. If you ever get a chance to go to Har Haridwar, do go. Uh, and then wait just for dusk, and it becomes the most beautiful poetic scene of humanity in deep spiritual prayer of the candles moving down the river. We went to look at the commercialization of the spirituality of the Ganges to Mumbai, to Bombay, where a giant water park with the symbol of the Ganga is there, and you can slide down the Ganga. Went to Turkey to look at sacred water in Islam, ablutions before going into the mosque to pray. The Greek Orthodox Church in Istanbul. Uh, we know about baptisms, but let's do it in a little more poetic way. We don't have to see all the nudity. Went to Bali to look at the spirituality in Hinduism, where they pray where the water is considered extremely sacred. Japan at a meditation center where people pray under dripping and meditate under dripping droplets of water. The Taoists outside of Kyoto line up under candlelight and pray for blessings under cascading cold waterfalls. And if you're going to work in an onsen in Japan and everybody's naked, you kind of feel kind of funny wearing your clothes and everybody else is naked. So it's probably the only assignment I've ever done where I worked naked for three days. Um, I just worked naked. South of France in a cave that is believed that the Virgin Mary appeared every day. Thousands come to touch the water seeping from the wall. So desperate are some in pain, they come in their hospital beds praying for relief to touch that sacred water.